Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. My dear students, I welcome you all again into this live sessions. And today we are going to talk about writing and the process of writing. Because uh, writing is, is the main module of your syllabus. So you must be aware that what writing in the process of writing is. Uh, this uh, source I will share uh, with, you, with you people uh, after the lecture. Uh, but uh, I, I think you must know uh, exactly that what, how to write things, you know. And writing uh, is, is really a difficult and a complex task because it involves, like uh, in speech, you know, if you look at the human language, so most of the part of the human language that is spoken, for example, when you get up early in the morning and you start actually um, your day, so, I mean, you start your day and you start your activities from speech and 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 writing has is his a, a part to play but in fact um, uh, most of the time you know speech is is uh, uh, speech is there so but anyhow especially for academics especially for students and especially for for a society where i mean education is highly stressed so uh, writing has a very important role to play because in speech you communicate and you interact you see um, physically there so I mean your gestures um, your uh, understanding and you're looking at one another and many of the contextual codes in fact help you to understand and communicate well effectively but so far writing is concerned writing do not have these things these schools so whenever you are supposed to write you on any topic right so you have to take extraordinary care in order to make your writing not only effective but comprehensible as well actually for your readers because um, the writers uh, uh, I mean they have to take uh, they have to take extra effort in order to make um, his writing more understandable and more effective uh, because uh, writing is, is, is exactly very difficult because you will not be all the time there before the reader to explain things. So that's why writing that is a process which actually requires great effort right on the part of the reader, right uh, on the part of the writer. So therefore uh, I must say that like any project that is worth doing, Writing demands discipline and a strong work ethic. Solid values for any worthwhile effort. Also, effective writing is the result of a smart writing process. So, what is your content writing process? How can it improve? Um, I, I like to tell you something uh, regarding actually the writing process. Uh, see uh, here the sentences which I have actually highlighted. Um, but sometimes you may ask these questions that sir so and so is a very good writer right he when he writes so he writes superbly yes you may be right but that percentage could not be more than um, a few um, uh, you see degree or like for example you say that sometimes inexperienced writers think the ability to write effectively is an inborn here. Some people are born talented. They are they they are born with the knack of writing some effectively well. But this is not the case with everybody. For example, as you see that somebody is a poet, somebody is a literary genius. Uh, but actually, um, you say that um, uh, as as we talk about the, the you know the uh, as we talk about the uh, controversy regarding nature and nurture so but is both have uh, I mean role to play similar is there that national talent does have a role to play but still that nat natural talent needs um, uh, replenishing uh, re refinement you know nurturing so uh, some people do have the snack this is not all the case with it so therefore um, I mean uh, you can become effective writer only if you look actually at the demands and nowadays uh, you can see that we have to become professional because many firms many journal 
many journals, many newspapers and many big writing agencies in the world. They do demand you to write actually uh, in the mold they really want you to write in, in, the, in, in, in the way. So you, you should try to follow actually the conditions there. For example, as, as I have just highlighted here, you see, um, you, you see here uh, that actually um, um, just is athletes, carpenters, builders, hairstylists, cooks learn new techniques, strategies, and most so do writers. Writer must study and practice to write well. I mean, writing that is actually a skill. The more you practice it, you know, the more you try to mold it according to certain given principle, you know, your this skill will will get finer and finer with the passage of time. So, my dear students, I must uh, tell you something uh, on, on writing because writing that is the major module in your HEC and I am I'm also teaching you that EAP book which involves maximum writing activities there in order to make your writing you know more finer and more um, you know polished so therefore you have to think about actually these processes now that how to uh, how to do proper job in, in writing right uh, whenever you are supposed to submit actually your article I mean to your uh, professor well, uh, uh, is is I said in the beginning that uh, you know um, we cannot actually uh, we, we we cannot uh, set aside writing altogether. Though, as, as I said, the speech is primarily because we are certainly working actually on writing because writing is the part of language as well, right? Uh, so I I think this is a, a role. To play so if it has to roll to up because all the time you cannot be physically absent uh, a present uh, every time everywhere uh, in order to make your listener understand so therefore you have to work on your writing skill is you work on your language skill a speech I mean so therefore written communication you do on regular basis such as texting your friends emailing to co-workers, friends, crafting cover letters and resumes or writing messages in social media. So still writing is very much involved in today's world if you see there. I think uh, just before 15 or 20 years, I mean uh, the focus of writing was not that much but with, you know, with, with the invention and coming of mobiles into our life, you know, I mean writing has become rather more important. Now, people they sit in the corners of their rooms they they sit only lawns actually in different places and they try to uh, carry on chat uh, I mean chatting to different social media social media uh, in instrument and tools they are using mobile so writing has become very important today uh, but anyhow uh, I, I'm going to talk about actually uh, uh, specifically about a purpose built an academic writing there so uh, you you must try to take uh, certain factors in view before you actually writing you have to uh, s uh, assist the writing situation subject purpose audience and genre well um, I think you must keep in mind actually these these certain points you know, that you, uh, when uh, for example uh, if 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 you ask I mean uh, uh, a successful writer that what is important to think about when writing here are some typical comments you might hear like for example they might say you have to think about your main point what you are trying to say and what details help you say that so you need to ask yourself why am I writing this what do I want to achieve right audience audience in audience obviously audience is very very important in your writing for example if you are writing to your friend you could be informal but for example if you are writing to your father so you have to be extremely formal for example if you are going to write to your mother you have to be extremely cautious and choosy and the selection of your words right uh, because audience plays a great important role in writing for example you see there what do readers need to know 
and what will make them happy you have to take care of your audience and account for example if you are going to write to your father so it means that you are going to write for some genuine need to your father you have to be very focused on the message you are going to give to your father and for example when you are writing to your uh, classmate so uh, basically in university context so it means that you are going to talk about some project some academic matter right well uh, what exactly do you have to write like for example a memo an informative paper a report a review an email a persuasive paper what kind of writing best get the job done so you have to look all the factor like I mean the subject you have to look at so I mean the subject should certainly be actually defined and it should be uh, your writing it should and it must revolve that particular subject right otherwise you will be uh, you will be getting lost writing no doubt is very complex but you have to think about certain things about it you know uh, for example you have to think about your knowledge of the subject and you have to think about the purpose you see uh, the, the, the purpose uh, in, in your writing right you have to consider your readers and their expectation that what kind of for example if you are a university student and you put up your writing just in a haphazard way so obviously it will make the your reader or the audience uh, in opinion which may not be very pleasant there so you have to take care of your writing whenever you write a piece uh, on a piece of paper you have to look at that for example when you write uh, on any topic you see so uh, just uh, uh, after you write date information on a piece of paper then you have to keep it away for some time and after some time you have to come back and to see there like after uh, a gap of two or three hours still you will feel great difference in that and that your piece of writing will uh, would certainly feel to be improved upon so I mean practice practice revising practice revising and looking at them and then you can also share your piece of uh, writing in, in fact with your friends and particularly with those friends who are I mean good literary and who are uh, who know the art of actually uh, mm, mm, I mean writing but remember one thing especially in Pakistani context we are not that much honest society so so for your researches and when you come to that fields like um, of uh, I mean uh, for uh, submitting your proposal actually so before you should not try to I mean disclose actually your proposal before approval because sometimes it happens that your ideas are actually I mean uh, thieves they are taken away from you so therefore especially in the time of academic research you must take care of it once I mean the ideas are officially approved then you can certainly share them uh, well um, and this uh, and just you see uh, quite briefly uh, I mean the whole process of writing actually involves uh, this thing there uh, I'll, I'll be just going there to another some uh, five steps you see of writing after this but remember you must try to have this in your mind you know that what are you you, you have these things right uh, in your mind before you actually writing there for example you, your subject it should be very much clear you must be very clear on it that what are you writing about what is the subject of your writing is it something religious is it something scientific is it something linguistic is it something journal is it something political you must beforehand you must be sure of it and you must be you know academically uh, well focused on that uh, for example if you start regarding linguistics but in the meanwhile you introduce language uh, I mean religion or politics there so that would not be a focus writing so please your subject that has to be very much clear right from the beginning till the end and then the purpose of writing it has to be very clear we're very, very clear like for example what do you want your writing to achieve what is the purpose of your writing what do you really want for example uh, a professor of university is giving you assignment so it means your purpose of submitting that assignment is to achieve good grade 
right so then according to the uh, according to the conditional uh, the conditions actually of the assignment you have to take care of them and you have to put your best effort in order to achieve the grade which is uh, finally the purpose of your assignment there are uh, for example you want to submit an article to a journal so you must be very academic and very focused and very meticulous you know because the purpose of your writing is just to get your paper published and then you have to look at your audience to whom are you writing for example if you are writing to your professor you must take special care of your writing because a professor understands the language he understands the punctuation he understands the grammar he understands the style then you must take care of it i sometimes i when i uh, am in my office and students come especially the english language students so they sometimes come up with applications you know but when i look at their applications so there are mistakes on the applications and i said to them because language and language students mostly you know they are supposed to be writing applications for others but i think if they have mistakes in their own applications you know this would certainly uh, sound odd therefore then i make them rewrite actually the applications and i ask them you know to overcome the mistakes which they have made actually in their applications and then they come and i make them write and they said that sir 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 but i said no you are language students so then you must take care of it so uh, whom are you writing to whom are you writing is very important you must take care of it you must take care of actually the status you must take of you you must keep in view the education level actually of the audience as well and genre what forms should uh, your writing take up i mean you should you, you must take care of actually your writing that what kind of writing it is going to be in, in fact is is going to be touching any any a uh, literature side linguistic side uh, what 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 kind of uh, area you are going to talk about it so these four things you must remember but now i move on actually to um, uh, uh, actually five steps of uh, uh, of, uh, 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 of writing you know um, actually you must look at I, i'll i'll be certainly uh, sharing these with you people um, of uh, the writing process Uh, there are uh, normally, uh, I mean, the academician and actually the writing expert. You know, they advance. I mean, these five steps of the writing process. Uh, in step one, uh, you see there, uh, we have pre-writing, and step two, we have drafting, and step three, we have revising, and step four, we have proof reading, and step five, uh, uh, pu publishings. Um, Uh, but uh, we 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 are going to talk about i mean the pre writing the pre writing so what is this pre writing you have to think about it right because uh, you have actually not started writing now you are pre pre means before writing what are you supposed to do before you actually take up any task you see to write it in a piece of paper you you must have to think about it you know decide on a topic to write about you have to decide before that what topic you are going to talk about right consider who will read or listen to your lesson is i said in the beginning that you have to look at this that for whom you are going to read uh, uh, who will read or listen to your written work you have to decide it before and that decision makes you more cautious right from the very beginning and then you have to brainstorming ideas about the subject you have to just think about it you have to i mean uh, garner ideas you have to collect certain uh, glean certain ideas about a particular topic you know and i i think this will help you then you will uh, look at your ideas which you will have i mean about that topic and that would really make you more uh, systematic and organized and then you have to list places where you can research information you have to look actually at your topics and then for example in the meanwhile i mean if you collect some ideas about a topic so some of the ideas will require you to do some minimum or minimal research you know so you have to look at them as well and then 
you have to do your research about those ideas and you have to then code and I, I think in the meanwhile we'll also be talking about that how to put in place your information actually uh, there during the uh, writing and in, and and step two uh, which is very important that is drafting right drafting means that you have to put your ideas on paper in written form means write you have to start writing well uh, the you have to then put the information you research into your own words now for example you must have been reading actually many many things but now you have to put your informations um, you see uh, uh, in your own words in order to just uh, for example uh, for example if you have taken any topic to, to, to write on then for that topic you must have read some books some information internet sources and you must have also discuss it with others so uh, I, I mean uh, a spate of ideas must have come to your mind then you have to put those informations and, and in your own words all right and then you have to write sentences and paragraphs even if they are not perfect remember um, I mean a paragraph paragraph is a collection of sentences which talks about a single aspect right like uh, uh, there might be uh, uh, there might be different actually uh, there might be different paragraphs in an, uh, in an academic essay or in general essay and these paragraphs you see talk about I mean uh, certain themes there right so you have to look at and, and if they are not perfect you have to look your sentences your sentences should be clear it should be simple I mean they should they, they should not be that much complex and you must try to avoid jargon, especially, um, uh, I mean, difficult words in order to impress people. Like, like we use the word grandiloquent language, you must avoid it. Like we euphemism, uh, th this we also term is euphemism. Because, uh, uh, Sir Philip, uh, I, I have forgotten the name of the author who was actually credited with this, with, with the foundation of this euphemism of, uh, from University Wits. Uh, um, uh, I, I think uh, I have forgotten at this moment the name um, right so euphemism right you uh, uh, you must try to uh, um, uh, you must try to avoid actually uh, uh, avoid uh, making use grained and you know uh, superb words in, in Europe rather you must go for academic English for simple right? and then you have to read what you have written and judge if it says what you mean then you then you have to read uh, and, and, and after that you can also make it uh, um, to others in order to see whether what you have written is really been communicated or not show it to other and ask for suggestion this is another I think so the drafting uh, phase is done and then uh, another step three which requires you to look at your uh, I think revising for example um, sometimes everybody seems impressed uh, from you see oneself but I think when you try to talk about with other person and you discuss so I think after initial discussion you feel uh, that you are really missing very key information and that piece of writing so therefore revising that is very essential right because make it better you have to you have to when you revise something you know so you go for its improvement read what you have written again yourself think about what others said about it for example you have to look others um, uh, comments and suggestions critically you should not blindly believe what others said but you have to think about them with open-minded and more critically that whatever have been said actually about um, uh, by others about you that particular written piece of information does it really matter or not and I think if you look at that that would help you a lot and then you have to rearrange word of sentences uh, like in research she's uh, when we are doing or uh, when we are planning to develop some questionnaires or some research tool we first uh, pilot it pilot it piloting means that before going to for actual research we give we, we take I mean uh, the people from uh, those research field in which we want to do research and we give them 
I mean our research tools and we test them whether they are actually they do understand actually what we give to them or not and after that after giving it to some people then we look so for example if a student or if you know a participant ask about a certain point again and again again and again so it means that there is some problem actually in the wording and phrasing of that particular question so similarly you have to rearrange words or sentences to make them more simpler in understandable take out our eight parts you can it's not like it's not like uh, uh, any uh, uh, any uh, book it's, it's not like any Quranic verse that uh, which is revealed once so you cannot change it your writing I mean this is a human effort and the, and the, and the effort may be poor so you may take out any idea of uh, of your essay or academic um, collection or you may I mean you, you can eight parts in your writing as well so replace overused or unclear word you must try to uh, be very clear on your language and read your writing aloud to be sure it flows uh, if, if you write something you know then you have to read it aloud in order to make it more uh, whether uh, that is genuine or not and uh, step four, we talk about proof, proofreading. It is very, very uh, essential. Make it correct. Editing and evaluating. Uh, I think if you do all the time at one time, it, 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 if you do all your writing at one time, you know, so you may have a lot of mistakes in your that written uh, um, uh, written uh, task. You know, so therefore you need. Uh, you need to be sure that all sentences are complete but this comes only after you look at that again and you edit it in each and every grammatical and punctuations gaps need to be filled and right um correct spelling capitalization and punctuation they they need to be looked at change words that are not used correctly sometimes we uh, we we uh, you know we make a wrong choice of words uh, the diction, the diction means the right choice of verb. It has to be used there. Have someone check your work, and the better it is that you give your this, uh, I mean, uh, writing task uh, to someone, and he can say you something there, and recopy it correctly and neatly. So after editing and proofreading, you can uh, have a better copy and a better uh, written task. And step five, which normally is actually for publishing, or uh, I mean, share the finished product. You can you can share it with people. Uh, for example, if you write something, you know, so you can share it with people. But anyhow, uh, this publishing. For example, if you write, if if uh, a student in department, if he writes or if he completes any written, uh, you know, task, then uh, he submits it to his professor. To, you know to his senior and to those people but sometime uh, in departments especially in universities the students they do researches so after I mean such I mean uh, complex and hard task you know the finished product is shared with the world so publish your work in the student or parent newsletter you can also give these things or a university or a corner journal so I think all these uh, uh, all these uh, process you see there um, uh, what 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 I just had just to I mean recap it, that you must take care of pre-writing you must take care of drafting revising proofreading and publishing and I hope that for any task for any task actually you uh, uh, you know you you are conducted especially uh, regarding writing you must take care of these steps and I hope that uh, with the passage of time I'll be also teaching you that book in order to make you practically, I mean, practice what is offered in that book. And I, I'll be also uh, teaching you the art of writing because the art of writing is like um, a, a spoken language is extremely important. And especially in the academic world, you will be tomorrow moving on. You will be doing your MPhil, PhD. You will be, uh, you will be joining different organizations. You will be supposed to write actually for 
for your organizations you'll be communicating with your seniors supervisors you know all those things so there you won't have for example uh, I mean for example if you meet your boss and especially in the district administrative setup so then they are too much busy there you won't have enough time I mean to uh, make your speech but there your written communication will work wonders so what I mean to say it, you have to bring some uh, you have to bring some form and some you know re refinement and improvement in your writing so I hope that uh, you must have a lot of questions but the question uh, they should be addressed to me actually um, uh, in any form you, you, you like it right and I hope that I made it clear and you would certainly enjoy uh, by watching this and do not forget actually do not forget to watch I mean, because uh, you, you, you cannot imagine that how long it takes to upload a single video. Because uh, it takes hours and hours, believe me. I sit in the morning and then tell evening, late evening, you know, it takes time to be uploaded. It's a very, very hard task indeed, you know. I mean, uh, teaching online is very difficult indeed. Please, so when I make so great effort and I'm, I'm, I'm taking so hard for you people, you must try to look at each and every word of my lecture. I mean, through this online way, I'm, I'm, I'm finding it very difficult indeed. You know, so I request you all to look and consider. I mean, uh, on this thing more carefully. So what, what this was there? You must go through. I mean, the YouTube. I, I'm going to uh, share its link on, on, uh, on Elimis as well, and WhatsApp as well. But do not miss actually to look this is a very very important letter so thank you very much and i hope that you will in, uh, that uh, that you will actually uh, uh, enjoy this lecture so nice of you